Hello, hello, everybody. This is Nikki. This is going to be a love reading. I already pre-shuffled. Uh, I'm going to do two readings, one for the females and one for the males. How does he feel about me and how does she feel about me? We're going to start with the man first. How does she feel about me? Let's see. How does she feel about you? How does she feel about you? You know, she wants to change, wants to make some changes, but there could be some kind of emotional conflict, you know, about what she really wants, you know, how she really wants this to play out. Um, but I feel like she's not seeing the, the, the true opportunity there. We got that Ace of Cups up there in the corner. Though this is the, the Four of Cups, there's something here in that with that that main love that, that she's not seeing. She's back and forth in her head. She's not sure if she wants to move forward. We have here the world here and we got the wheel so it's like these are two major energies here that's that's kind of like conflicting you know do you want this do you want to rise above all the bs do you want to be with me do you want to want to to want us to to just climb this hill together this hill this thing we call life together what is the problem why are you so up in arms why are you so up in your head about this maybe you all feel like you can't get along with each other which is why she doesn't want to go further okay or she doesn't know exactly where where the, this relationship lies. You know, we have here. She's thinking about it. She she's trust. She has some major trust issues. Okay, there are some major trust issues here. Okay, and honestly, it has it couldn't have possibly it has nothing to do with you. Okay, and it's all with her. It's all about what she has experienced in her love life. You know, the people that have hate that have hurt her which is why she's feeling so conflicted in her head. She doesn't know what real love feels like. She just doesn't know. She doesn't trust it. Uh, how can you want to be with me when you can't even trust the love that I have for you in my heart? She's always watching, always looking around, looking to see if you're you're talking to other people, if you're hanging out with people, and or just out and about. She looks to see if if like you're all out in a restaurant or at the, at a club, heaven forbid, or in, at the store somewhere. She's looking like looking to see if you make eye contact with anybody else, that kind of stuff. You know, kind of jealous. And not the lovers. So she's kind of jealous though too, jealous of of. To make sure you're not to look at you to make sure you're only looking at her to make sure that you only have eyes for her okay but i feel like she wants it she just got to know that i feel like you should reassure her although she's grown you shouldn't have to reassure anybody anything but if you really if you really want this to work just try to talk to her and let her know that you're the only person for me you're the only person i have eyes for i don't want to be with anybody else you know i feel like she's confused about the situation and, and also afraid she's afraid because she doesn't want to get her heart broke anymore she's a, she's hurt yeah she, she's she's you know i don't know what to tell you i would say wait give it some time she may be shooting herself up in the, in the foot. She may be sabotaging this connection because she's been hurt so much. I'm going to hurt him. I'm going to end this before he before he hurts me. Okay? She doesn't feel love. She, she, you know, she may walk away from you. Male or female, 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 male, male, take how it resonates. They may walk away from you because they don't know their own, they don't know their own value. They don't know that they are lovable. So, yeah, you know, you may be, you may be beating a heart that, uh, you may be beating a heart, I was going to say a horse, but you may be beating a heart that's dead here. You know, you may, you may try until you can't try anymore. And at some point, you got to know, you got to know when enough, you have to know when enough isn't, I'm talking tired. You have to be the one ultimately to make a decision on whether or not you're going to deal with this person or, or move on with your life. Because I feel like, you know, it may end because somebody's not being true and honest with their heart and they're afraid of love so she's afraid to give her heart and her love to you completely because she's been hurt so much and she'd rather hurt you before she gets hurt so wow now stay tuned i'm going to tag the how he feels about me in this reading as well all right